This video is titled Installing Configuration Manager. In this video, as the title suggests, we will be installing Config Manager and creating a Config Manager site. Afterwards, we will verify the installation. OK, so let's talk about some of the things we need to consider for the Config Manager installation. Certain versions of Configuration Manager are called base builds. What does that mean? It means that you can download these versions and install the product using the installation media. Versions 15.11 and 16.06 are base builds. All other versions are installed using the Easy Setup process, which is an in-console upgrade. We'll see that in a later video. When you add a distribution point to a server, Config Manager will try to use all available drives to store content. This isn't ideal. We can create a file called NoSMS on Drive, which forces Config Manager to ignore a specific drive. Let's see how to do that. I want to prevent a distribution point being created on the C drive. So I create a file and rename it nosms on drive.sms. You'll note the underscores in the name of the file. In this way, a distribution point will not be created on the C drive. You should know in advance what config manager hierarchy you will be implementing. Will you be deploying a CAS or a primary site? In this video series, we will be creating a standalone primary site. The installation requires prerequisite files, which are downloaded by the wizard during the process. Don't worry if there is no internet connection on the server. On a computer that you have internet access, you can use the Setup Downloader tool on the Config Manager Media to download the files to an alternative location. Now, download the 1606 Media from the Microsoft Volume License Center and mount it on the server, and let's install Config Manager. If the installation does not auto-run, browse to the installation media and run splash.hta. The Config Manager wizard is launched. Click on Install, and read the information on the Before You Begin page. It asks you to check that all prerequisites are in place. We're happy that everything is OK. Choose Install a Configuration Manager Primary Site. Make sure that the Use Typical options is unchecked and click Next. Next, you need to enter the license key for the product and choose Current Branch before continuing. I'll hide this screen for now while I enter my license key. Accept the Microsoft license terms for Config Manager and then accept the terms for SQL Express, SQL Native Client and Silverlight 5. These will be required for installing clients and secondary sites later. Enter a location to download the prerequisite files. I pre-created a folder. and the prerequisite files start to download. The Config Manager prerequisite files have been downloaded. Now choose the languages you require for the Config Manager console. English only is selected by default. Select the client languages that you need Config Manager to support. Again, English only is selected by default. Choose a suitable site code and site name. And choose the Config Manager installation folder. Ensure that the Install Configuration Manager console box is checked. It's not essential to install the console on the primary site server as you can deploy remote consoles. However, we'll do it for convenience for the purpose of the uh, video. We don't have an existing hierarchy, so we'll choose to install the primary site as a standalone site. Accept that we can add, add a CAS later and continue. Next, we configure the SQL information. 
It's easy in this case as we have locally installed SQL, so we just have to accept the pre-populated configuration. We can change from the default locations for the SQL database and log files. So I'll just do that to a different drive. Specify where the SMS provider will be installed. The SMS provider is used by Config Manager consoles to access the site database. We only have one server, so we'll be installing it here. Choose HTTP for the communication method for now. This is common practice. HTTPS requires a PKI infrastructure. Choose to install a management point and distribution point. Read the information and click next at the usage data screen. Select to add a service connection point. This requires an internet connection. It is used to upload telemetry to Microsoft and also to download future easy setup versions. If you don't have an internet connection on your server, you will still be able to do this offline with the service connection tool. Review the settings and click next to continue. The prerequisite checker runs. The prerequisite checker has finished and there are no warnings or errors. You will have to solve any issues encountered here if there are no errors, then you can choose to begin install. And the installation commences. This can take quite some time. The installation is ongoing and uh, currently setting up the SQL Server database. The uh, SQL Server database has been set up. The SMS provider has been installed. The registry has been installed and the installation is currently progressing. The installation is almost finished and just now installing boot image package. And finally the configuration manager console is being installed. The installation has now completed. We can click close to finish. Now we should verify the Config Manager installation. We'll examine the Config Manager setup.log file for errors. Then we will verify the following. The version of the newly created site, the site status and component status, and that the site has been published to Active Directory. Browse to the Config Manager installation directory to find CM trace in the tools folder. This is a very good log viewer and we can make it the default viewer for log files. Now if we open config manager setup.log file and we can see the status of the installation. It takes a little while to open. And here we can see in the log file that uh, we have completed configuration manager server setup. Now this is the config manager console and we can see our primary site. If we look at the properties of the primary site, we'll see the site version, which is the version of configuration manager 1606. And if we look at our component status and our site status, everything looks OK. Finally, if we have a look at our drives, we see the E drive, which has got the distribution point uh, created. If we look at the C drive, you do not have those folders. So um, we've been able to prevent a distribution point being created on the C drive.
and if we check Active Directory we see that uh, the site has been published uh, in, in the system management container so it's been successfully published to Active Directory. The next video will be Configuration Manager Easy Setup which describes the in-console upgrade process.